Hello everyone, welcome to Clarity for Sure. In this video, we will see the most important basic terms in insurance. And this video will be relevant for all the insurance exams. Okay. Whether you are preparing for IRDI, LIC, UIIC, or any other exam, okay, this video will be relevant for you. But before going to our video, okay, you can see that we have launched a system manager course of IRDI, okay, at just 1500 rupees. In this, we, you will get all the section and full end test type classes of ESI and insurance, descriptive English writing practice, and crisp GA materials and weekly strategy sessions. Okay, so if you are trying to give this exam, you should consider this course. Now let's start with the insurance. Okay, so what is an insurance? We have already covered this in our like history of insurance video, but we will understand this in the general terms. Okay, so suppose you bought a car. Okay, suppose you bought a car. Okay, and if and you are worried. Okay, and you are worried by the high number of accidents. Okay. In Delhi roads, okay. So you want to transfer this risk, okay. So like there is high risk of accident, so there is always a risk that your car will be damaged or your life will be at danger, okay. So you want to transfer that risk, okay. You want to transfer that risk, okay. So this transferring of risk is done through insurance, okay, where you will give like regular payments to insurance companies okay for the insurance so that whenever you met with an accident or any unforeseen event happens okay then you will be covered with the sum assured okay or the money so let's look at the definition so insurance is a contract so insurance is a contract okay that is represented by an insurance policy okay so insurance is a contract that is represented by an insurance policy in which in which the policy holder okay so this is the policy holder receive financial protection or reimbursement okay against the losses from the insurance company okay so suppose icici he has insurance coverage through icici potential okay so this company will pay him the money against the losses whatever he made in the in that accident Okay, so this is the insurance definition of insurance now you can look at the like, types of insurance so you can look at we have term life insurance health insurance car insurance two-wheeler insurance family health insurance travel insurance home insurance okay, employee group health insurance okay so these are the like various types of insurance like term life insurance for, for women okay so we have various types of insurance okay so people buy it to transfer the this risk okay so this word is very important like insurance is bought for transferring of risk now we will move to who is an insured okay so insured is a person or legal entity okay so insured is a person or an legal entity okay whose financial losses okay whose financial losses are covered through an insurance policy is covered through an insurance policy you can consider it to be yourself okay like we buy an insurance to get covered okay to transfer our risk so we are basically we are insured okay so that we are insured okay from there this word comes okay insured insured is a person or legal entity then we have insurer okay and we have insurer so insurer is the company okay that is providing the insurance coverage okay so insurer is a company that is providing insurance that is providing insurance coverage okay so this is an insurer now we have contract okay so what is a contract insurance so contract is the legal agreement you can see it is a legal agreement between the insured and insurer okay so it is a legal agreement between the insurer okay that is the company and the insured okay so it is a legal agreement okay what you can think of it from a legal agreement is that okay that both parties is being legally binding has been legally binding is that 
if he met with an accident okay if he met with an accident okay and he does it with all the valid causes okay if the accident happens with all the valid causes then the insurance company must pay him okay he cannot refuse to pay the policy holder he cannot refuse okay so it is that's why it is a legal legal agreement now what is a policy so policy is a written document detailing the terms of insurance okay so policy is a written document detailing all the terms and conditions of the like insurance okay like the terms might include the claim process okay if you met with an accident how you can claim the process how you can claim okay so it will include all the process okay it will include that some like intentional activity like you are like driving your car with an influence of alcohol okay so that should be excluded okay that won't count or you are driving recklessly that also won't count then this policy will also con contain the responsibilities okay of both the of both the company and the policy holder okay on the policy holder it will contain all the responsibilities like if like how they should process the claims okay and all okay and the responsibilities of policy holder might include that after the after their death okay who would be nominee and all okay so these are the responsibilities and all these things will be contained in an policy insurance policy now next we have in policy we have policy term policy mode and policy limit okay so first starting with the policy term the policy term is the like you can think of it as a duration duration of the policy or the insurance okay duration it might be like 12 months or 24 months or it might be like upon death upon death in life insurance okay in life insurance so after that in life insurance the policy ceases to exit okay so this is the policy term okay so this is the duration of the that policy if this policy term like expires okay you have to renew it so this is policy term okay if that like this period is expired then you have to renew it okay it generally happens you have seen in the car and bike insurance car and bike insurance they are generally of 12 months so this is the policy term then we have policy mode okay so policy mode is like you can think of it as a like way of payment okay it might be regular or you are paying the premiums monthly or it is limited okay you paid it for like for six months and you won't pay for later six months okay like depending upon your financial preference or it might be single payment like lump sum payment or you might even pay annually okay so these are the this is called the policy mode okay how you will pay the premiums according to your financial preferences then we have policy limit okay so it is the maximum limit that the insurer okay will pay to an or to a policy holder okay suppose okay suppose you have a house okay you have a house okay what one CR, okay. And due to flood, and due to flood, it got destroyed. Okay, it got destroyed. Okay. But you have insurance policy of only fifty lakhs. Okay. Then the insurance company will only pay fifty lakhs. Then the insurance company will only pay fifty lakhs. They won't pay. They won't pay this one crore rupees. Okay. So this is the policy limit. Okay. The so limit is the maximum amount. That the insurer or the insurance company will pay to the insured or the policy hold. So this is the policy limit. Then we have premium. Okay. So premium is the amount paid by the policy holder for insurance coverage. Okay. We have already seen that the policy holder is paying regularly to that insurance company to continue to continue his coverage. Okay. To continue his coverage coverage okay if he doesn't pay then the insurance 
will lapse okay so this is premium so it is the amount paid by the policy holder for the insurance coverage so this is premium and what is sum assured okay so sum assured is the guaranteed amount so it is the guaranteed amount payable under the policy okay so this is paid by the insurance company to the policy holder okay when it, the policy holder like incurred any loss or financial loss okay then the insurance company will pay to the policy holder so sum assured is the money paid by the insurance company to the policy holder and premium is the like regular amount paid by the policy holder to the insurance company so this is the difference then we have claim amount okay so claim is the request made okay to the insurer for payment of covered loss okay so you met with an accident then you are claiming okay then you are requesting the insurance company to cover your loss okay so what will happen after then then in a person okay then a person called the assessor okay assessor will check out your all the details of the accident okay and he will assess all the like what are the real loss okay what are the real loss you incurred okay and after he verified everything and after he assessed all the all the real cost of like the damage okay he will inform the insurance company and insurance company will reimburse your loss okay so claim is the request made to the insurer okay so you are making request to the insurer for payment of covered loss okay and here is the role of assessor okay which is of insurance company so claim is done now we have no claim bonus okay so what is the no claim bonus that is the discount for not filing claims during the policy term okay so suppose you take an insurance okay insurance car insurance you took car insurance okay but for whole that year like but for whole year you haven't met you haven't met with an any accident or you haven't incurred any loss okay then the insurance company then the insurance company will give you a special discount okay on the premiums okay because you haven't claimed any like uh, you haven't claimed your insurance you haven't met with an insurance okay so the insurance company thinks that you are a responsible driver you are a responsible person so they will give you a special discount on the insurance policy okay so you will be get you have to pay less premium compared to someone who is recklessly driving so it is the no claim bonus so it is the discount for not filing claims during the policy term then we have deductible deductible is the portion or loss the in insured must pay before the insurer covers the rest okay so suppose you met with an accident okay and the total cost of repair repairing the damage is like 50000 is 50000 so what does deductible mean is you have to pay okay you have to pay this person has to pay rupees 5000 okay from his pocket okay this person has to the policy holder has to pay 5000 from his pocket and that and the insurance company will later pay rupees 45000 okay so why it is done okay so why it is done because that insurance company want to like be responsible okay want the policy holder to be responsible of his or her act okay so that the the policy holder will not drive recklessly okay so he will not drive recklessly okay and if he met with an accident he will keep claiming keep claiming the insurance okay so this is the deductible is the portion of the so the portion of the loss the insured must pay before the insurance covers the rest Okay, so it is the amount that the insurer must pay is known as deductible okay you can see from the whole amount some portion is being cut 
this is deductible then we have lapse okay we have already seen this it is the termination of policy due to non-payment of premiums okay so if you keep forgetting your premiums or you are not paying your premiums then your insurance that in insurance policy will be terminated okay insurance contract will be terminated is known as lapse okay so this is all from this video and if you are preparing for assistant manager exam okay you should definitely look at this course and thank you